Hello! In this video we will see how we can almost diagonalize a matrix that is not diagonalizable. We will call the result the Jordan normal form. So a matrix A is in Jordan normal form if and only if it has block matrices called Jordan blocks on its diagonal and zeros everywhere else. One Jordan block looks like this. We have an eigenvalue lambda i on the diagonal and ones on the secondary diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Here, those lambda i do not have to be pairwise distinct in the different Jordan blocks. So we can have several Jordan blocks for the same eigenvalue. But of course, in one Jordan block, it is always the same eigenvalue. We now want to illustrate how we can find a base change matrix to turn any matrix into Jordan normal form. We consider a matrix B whose Jordan normal form consists of only one Jordan block. And we want to write B times our base change matrix, which we write like this. So these VI are just the columns of the base change matrix. This has to be equal to our base change matrix times the Jordan block. So we have the eigenvalue on the diagonal once on the secondary diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Remark that this is equivalent to s to the minus 1 times b times s is equal to the Jordan block. Since we can just multiply s from the left here and then we have b times s which is b times this equals s times j, which is this. So by looking at how we multiply this and this and this and this, we can see that the first vector v1 has to be an eigenvector, since this is just the condition b times v1 equals v1 times lambda. For the second eigenvector, we get a slightly more complicated condition. We get b times v2 on the left side, and on the right we have lambda times v2 plus v1, which is equivalent to b minus lambda times the unit matrix times v2 is equal to v1. And we continue doing this for every vi and always get this. Until vd is equal to lambda times vd plus vd minus 1. So n is here just any number between 2 and d. And again, this is equivalent to the condition B minus lambda times the unit matrix times VD is equal to VD minus 1. So this condition is one system of linear equations that gives us the vector V2. And we have this for every vector in this base change matrix. So we can just compute the vi including this first one in the eigenspace and write them into a matrix into the columns of s And 
and then we get that s to the minus 1 times b times s is our Jordan block. So if we have more than Jordan block, namely if we have more than one vector in the eigenspace or more eigenvalues and then uh, we have more uh, different eigenvectors, then we can, can do this procedure for every block in the Jordan normal form and, or every eigenvector in the eigenspaces and just write them next to each other into the base change matrix S. In the next videos we will see examples for computing the Jordan normal form where the matrix B has one or two Jordan blocks and one or two eigenvalues.